Hey, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David, enjoying some vitamin D as I work in my sunny office loft. Well, today we're continuing our series of looking at all the Gerber Bear Girls Survival Series knives and tools by looking at the Gerber Bear Girls Survival Pocket Tool. Along the way, we'll compare this tool to one of my all-time favorites, the Victorinox Swiss Army Tinker, and some of the other gear in the Bear Girls line. Before we're all done, we'll talk about who the Bear Girls Pocket Tool is for. Who should look for a different tool? Okay, let's get started. The Gerber Bear Girls Pocket Tool is designed to be a bare bones, folding, everyday carry, pocketable multi tool that sports a few basic components, including a fine edge blade, bottle opener, Phillips head, medium, and small flathead screwdrivers, and the Bear Girls Priorities of Survival Pocket Guide. This tool doesn't come with a sheath or a belt clip because it's designed for putting in your pocket, bag, or pack. The closed length of this tool is 3.2 inches or 8.1 centimeters and the overall open length with the fine edge donned is nearly 5.5 inches or 13.9 centimeters. The width is just over 3 quarters of an inch or 2 centimeters and the thickness of this tool is about 5 eighths of an inch wide or 1.6 centimeters. And my tool weighed in at 3 ounces or 85 grams. As you can see my Swiss Army Tinker is a little longer, about the same width and quite a bit thinner than the Bear Girls Pocket Tool. In fact, the Tinker is almost about 30% lighter than the Pocket Tool at about 2 ounces or 57 grams. Here's the Bear Girls Pocket Tool compared from left to right to the Bear Girls Compact Maldi Tool, the Swiss Army Tinker, the Bear Girls Scout Knife, Bear Girls Ultimate Maldi Tool, and the Folding Sheath Knife. Okay, now let's look at the shell of this tool. Like the Swiss Army Tinker, the guts of this tool are supported by an internal stainless steel metal frame it's covered over in what feels like a pretty durable molded plastic. Then on both the exterior sides of the pocket tool, we have this rubberized raised gray grippy material that's common to all the tools in the Bear Grylls line. We'll say that the chunkiness of this tool and the grip material make it feel pretty good in my hands. This is compared to the Swiss Army knife that could much more easily slip from my hand due to its smooth glossy surface. Now when I pocket tested the Bear Grylls tool versus the Swiss Army Tinker, the Tinker was a lot less noticeable due to being about a third less weight, quite a bit thinner than the pocket tool. Neither of these were uncomfortable in my pocket, but the Bear Grylls tool was quite a bit more clunky feeling until I forgot it was in there. Now let's look at what's inside. Let's start with the blade. The Bear Grylls pocket tool blade is made from 5CR15 stainless steel. The blade is about two and a quarter inches or 5.7 centimeters. It's a fine edge blade that was pretty sharp out of the box and it can be opened with one hand using this hard plastic thumb stud, see? To close the knife, simply close it. There's no locking mechanism of any kind except for the stout spring locks, which are pretty strong and should keep this tool open when you want it open and closed when you want it closed. Okay, now as you can see, the Swiss Army Tinker main blade is a bit longer and not quite as wide as the Pocket Tools blade. And on the other side of the Tinker, we have this cool little clip point fine edge blade that's great for fine work. And the combination of the Tinker's two blades make the Tinker a perennial favorite with backcountry whittlers and woodcarvers, which is actually the reason that I purchased the Swiss Army knife in the first place. Next, we have this pretty hefty Phillips head screwdriver. I have to admit, because of the strength of the internal spring locks and the mid-tool posting of the thumb notch, my wife and I both had a hard time opening this screwdriver. But once open, we have a pretty capable screwdriver. Here's the Tinker and Pocket Tool Phillips head screwdriver side by side. As you can see, the Tinker's driver is uniquely positioned in the center of the tool, which gives the leverage and dynamics to really torque on a screw and apply a lot of downward pressure when needed. The only problem with this positioning is that it makes it challenging to turn a screw in a narrow place. Next on the Bear Girls Pocket Tool, we have this large flathead screwdriver and combination bottle opener. Here's the comparable flathead screwdriver combo on the Swiss Army Tinker with the addition of a small notch that's designed for stripping wires. And lastly, on the pocket tool, we have this flathead screwdriver. Okay, now on the Tinker, we have this small flathead screwdriver combo at the tip and a very functional can opener. Now here are both the Bear Girls pocket tool and the Swiss Army Tinker opened up. As you can see, in addition to the large blade, Phillips head, 
and two flathead screwdrivers, the Swiss Army Tinker has a small blade, can opener, wire stripper notch, reamer punch, and hidden in the butt end of this tool, we have this plastic toothpick and functional tweezers on the other side. And this is all in a thinner and lighter package when compared to the Bear Grylls pocket tool. Now let's look at owner comments. In general, owners rate the Bear Grylls pocket tool right around 4 out of 5 stars. Many owners love the low weight, yet thicker, sturdier feel of this tool when compared to other tools like Swiss Army knives. Many comment on this tool being perfect for everyday carry and the fact that this knife takes and keeps a nice edge. Number one complaint of owners is that all the tools except for the blade are hard to open with your fingernail. But most of all, folks love this tool for the combination of its quality and price. Now we rate the Bear Grylls pocket tool a 3.5 out of 5 stars for being a pretty decent for the money pocket tool that's priced well at just over $10 US online. We took off a star and a half because this tool is hard to open, it is a bit bulky, and it would have been nice if it had a few more tools. You really like what you get with a Swiss Army Tinker for just a few more bucks like the additional blade, can opener, reamer punch, and the tweezers. So who's the Bear Grylls pocket tool for? This is a solid, pretty good quality tool. Everyday carry in the pocket, pack or bag. It's a helpful tool for around the house, at work, and for day hikes, backyard camping, for responsible scouts, Bear Grylls fans, and for anyone who might need a good quality knife and a few screwdrivers that you can pack and carry in your pocket. This tool's not really designed for survival, at least not in my opinion. And it's not due to the quality, which is pretty good, but the lack of helpful survival tools. Unless you're a Spartan survivalist and a two and a quarter inch pocket knife suits you just fine in a pinch. That being said, the Bear Grylls pocket tool is a pretty good value for the suburban Bear Grylls fan who wants a dependable, helpful, and low cost, bare bones, everyday carry tool in their pocket at all times. If you'd like a more full featured pocket tool and don't mind paying a few extra bucks, look at the Swiss Army Tinker. For a really small pocket carry multi tool, see my review of the Bear Grylls Compact Multi Tool. For a really nice small and lightweight single blade pocket knife, check out my review of the Bear Grylls Compact Scout Knife. And if you'd like a classic high quality three blade and super small pocket knife, check out the Schrade Old Timer Junior Pocket Knife. Okay, we've just taken a look at the Gerber Bear Grylls Pocket Tool. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. And while you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared, because you never know.